Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Bursa Thunder 380. Very popular model. I would venture to guess the most popular 380 handgun is right here with the Bursa Thunder. That's just me talking, but I know so many people who own this gun. They like the function of it. They, they like the full size feel in a subcompact model that they hold on to them. And that's just been my experiences and People love the way they shoot. Now, what makes this different is that it has a threaded barrel. One half by 28 threads. So that allows the shooter to use a suppressor. Nine millimeter or, or higher or larger will, would work just fine so long as that it will accept one half by 28 threads. It also extends the barrel length. So the average burst of thunder has a three and a half inch barrel this has a four and a quarter inch barrel so you get that additional velocity you get that additional accuracy and i'll be taking this to the range shortly and we will definitely check it out but here we have a single stack eight round magazine with a finger extension and i do like that for three finger contact more control of the gun the beaver tail extends a little bit too for that additional control pretty nice it does have an aluminum frame all right, and you can see that it has a, a key there that fits in there. That could lock up the entire frame, rendering it useless. Uh, or you could just not use it at all, which is my choice. And then uh, that just kind of fits flush there. It's not going to engage itself. There, there's no way. You need that key. It does have checkered polymer grips, all right, both sides. Nice look and feel to it. We'll go ahead and check clear. It also has a magazine disconnect, which is common with many bursas, and it also has a slide-mounted safety decocker. All right, so we, we go ahead and safely decock the gun. That renders the trigger useless, and the hammer will not be able to charge. You could charge a round, but that's it. You can see that it puts the hammer right back to its rest position. And then you can flip it back up and you're good to go. Double action, single action. So we're looking at a heavy double action. And then here's what we're looking at for our reset. Right there. All right. The controls are easy to get to. You know, you got the, the slide release right here. That's easy. The thumb safety decocker right there. It's easy. Now it does have three dot sights. And you can see that the the rear sights are a bit small. The the front dot is larger. All right, you can see that decent sight picture. Pick up that large dot rather quickly. But overall, pretty nice. I can see why this is very popular. It's priced right. People love them. Has eight rounds opposed to six. You know, aluminum frame, which is an attractive feature for many people. There are so many people that say, you know what? Don't give me. Do not give me. Those plastic guns. I want I want metal. A lot of people like that. To disassemble the gun, the first thing you need to do is take off the thread cap. Alright. You can see there. And the business end there. That, that, that slide's not coming off over that. And we're going to pull back the slide. And then I'm going to take this lever, push it down, just hold it, lift up. Give it a little shake there and off comes the slide. And the recoil spring, just like that. Fixed barrel, four and a quarter inches long. It's got kind of a cool look to it, you know. Check that out. And then to reassemble, just do it again in reverse. And then once again, you're going to have to, there's a bar under there that, that pushes down when you move that. So I'm just going to move it, and just like that. And once again, it has a magazine disconnect just like that and you're good to go let's get it on the scale we'll take a look at the unloaded weight one pound three and five eighths ounces we move it just to ounces 19 and three quarters or 19 and five eighths what if i keep that thread cap on there 19 and seven eighths but let's go ahead and load it up with eight rounds i've got that right here you know a little interesting side story about this i've got a friend goes about 6'3", 250 pounds, just this huge guy, and he's been carrying for years, and, uh, and I asked him, I said, well, what do you, 
what are you carrying these days? He said, I got a burst of thunder 380 on my ankle right now. I'm like, are you serious? Like, this is the kind of guy that you would expect to have a Glock 17. You know, full size. This big dude. Now, I'm, I'm not a big fan of ankle carry. I, I have before. But, uh, he's like, yeah, I, I, I like that burst of thunder on the ankle. So, even though it has a metal frame, you can see that it's not too heavy. Here we're looking at 22 and 5 8 ounces. We got our carry around. These are target loads. 22 and 7 8 ounces. So it's a lightweight gun. It's a small gun, but there are smaller out there. But it's a well put together gun. And if you like that double action, single action trigger, which I do, if you have a can and want to shoot this suppressed, uh, what a great choice right here with the burst of thunder 380 and i'll be taking this out this weekend so look for a range review and i look forward to sharing that with you if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe